What's up y'all, this is Brandon with Heinz Professional Services. I'm actually doing this video for my friend, um, Austin. Uh, but anyway, what's up Austin? I'm gonna show y'all my striping kit that I got on my Toro Z-Master uh, 3000, it's a 60 inch cut. I actually had, this is my second striping kit that I put on it, which I'm gonna show y'all in a minute what I did the first time. But uh, the striping kit I had on it, the first time it worked good and uh, the one I got on it now in my opinion works a little bit better but uh, anyway I'm gonna show y'all what we got uh, the first attempt that I did I did it like Ambrose but I didn't put the channel which I'll explain in a minute on it and my striping kit ended up breaking this is what I had going on the first time All right, so I had a rubber mat behind the uh, mower. Uh, I made it a little longer than flush with the ground just so it would press on the grass and lay it over when I went one way and then lay it back over when I came the other way. Um, but what, what ended up happening is I only had it bolted in two spots, and uh, which is right here. Bolted there and bolted there. And what I should have done was got some metal some with slots in it and put on the back and on the front to lock it in a little bit better but i didn't do that you know hindsight hindsight's 2020 that's what ambrose landscaping done and uh i guess theirs is still holding up good i don't know but uh so i went a different route this time you can get just any old mat and use like at lowe's or something like that i went to walmart and the mats they had i didn't like so what i ended up buying was actually this right here and I cut a piece off of it about this long but uh that's actually a stable mat and it's really thick it's good you'll probably never wear one out in 10 years uh even if you use your mower every day I mean it's just thick it's about three quarter inches thick and it's really tough to cut so I don't recommend getting that because I actually burnt my skill saw up trying to cut it uh but anyway what we've got going on now this right here so I put chain on there and then some clasps and there's actually a wooden dial in the middle and I know the wood ain't gonna hold up forever Right there. So I drilled a hole and put them eye bolts in and I drilled the hole small that way the eye bolts were in really tight and should hold up a long time. Uh, once that gives out, if, it, if it's something that gives out really quick, then I'll end up getting me a piece of rebar and putting it in the center of it. I, I chose the wood that way it'd be quiet and it wouldn't be clanking metal, but actually you would think the chains and stuff that's on there would clank, but really when you're mowing or even when you're just riding around, cause I tried it out without mowing just to see how good it's striped and it done really really well uh but you can't even hear that it's back there you don't even know it's there so one wooden dial about one inch two eye bolts in the ends the wooden dial is 32 inches this is like 34 or 33 just a little bit longer uh and then i got my bolts on there see i had it spaced out that way it wasn't on the back of my mower rubbing the paint off uh wing nut some washers to space it out and then i put my chain up in there which is it's at nine links right now and then i put this on here i put this clasp on there where i can put the clipper thing so that way if i need to take it off i can take it off and just put my chain up there and i ain't got to worry about it so once you get that on there just run this through it barely sticks out on both ends, about that much. And then just hook it like so. Well, I'm trying to hold the phone, this is making it hard. And 
and do the same thing on this end. And there you have it. And I made sure my floor is uneven, that's why it's sitting crooked. But I made sure that I can't back over it. See, the chain ain't long enough to let me back over it. And uh, I've ran over sticks and stuff with it already, just testing it out over the uh, edge of sidewalks and stuff, and it don't get hung on nothing. I'm happy with it. The reason I put the dial in there uh, in the middle was in hopes that that heavy metal bar would roll. I put a really thick gauge bar, that way I'd really pre press down on that uh, grass. You can see how thick of a gauge steel that is. But it works really, really good. I'll have some mowing videos, and when I do, I'll show y'all how good it stripes. Uh, I'll probably mow my yard tomorrow, maybe do a video then. But anyway, that's what I got going on. Uh, Scott, Austin, I don't know if I if you'll be able to see it, but also put me a discharge kit on there, which is pretty much a mulching kit without all the mulching stuff up underneath. That's a three quarter inch piece of plexiglass. I was gonna get steel, but I work at a glass shop, and while I was there, they was like, "Well, try this plexiglass out. We don't think it'll break." So I had three bolt holes. I bolted it up. It seems to work pretty good. Uh, if it breaks then I'll probably get the steel the steel was gonna cost me I went to a welding shop and they was gonna uh, cut it out and then I was gonna paint it and bolt it on and it was gonna cost me 40 bucks which ain't, which ain't bad hold on Ellie a mulching kit is gonna cost you around 300 for my, for my uh, mower Austin on yours yours is an X mark I think they actually make one uh, with a lever to where you can pull the flap up anytime you want which is even better than what I got they don't make one of them for a Toro unless you get a mulch kit the bad thing about a mulch kit is, is you can't cut really high grass. I mean, you can, but it don't do that good uh, because it's like a thing that goes under the deck, and it you just it ain't for where I live. I mean, we the yards we cut ain't every week; they're every other week. And then if we get new accounts, sometimes they're three feet high. So that's why I didn't go that route. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, please. I need all the subscribers I can get. And I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope this has helped you, Austin. If you need anything else, brother, just hit me up. Peace.